Hello, my name is Brucey. I hope you've watched the first video that I have on the suspension analysis. This is going to be video five of two. Uh, it just got broke up. Anyways, uh, this is going to be testing the travel and the load of the Spec C Ironman kit, and it's also going to be testing the travel of the Subaru Forester Wilderness with and without the end links attached. I hope you enjoy it. All right, we are now with the Ironman Spec C kit on the 2017 Subaru Outback. This is the Gen 5 Outback. There is currently no load in it. There are some uh, side-by-sides going by, or I'm sorry, some dirt bikes going by. There's currently no load in it. You can see that there. We're gonna test the height for the sag. So to begin with, the passenger side wheel is looking 35, 35, pretty much on the dot. Uh, yeah, I'd say that. What do you say? Looks, yeah, right at 35. Yeah. And then the driver's side is, this is why you always test both sides in West Virginia because nothing's level. Uh, I'm gonna say 33, 33 and 3 quarter, 33 and 5 eighths, right around there. I'm not going down to 16 because this measurement does not have them. So this is the measurement I've been using the whole time and I'm going to stick with it. Tires are at 35 PSI. I will convert that to bar and kilopascals. And I can't do that in my head. Uh, it's probably two and a half bar, but I can't do kilopascals in my head. Uh, let's put in a thousand pounds of concrete and see how it does. 1,000 pounds of concrete. Click over here. Before it starts raining. We're at 30, 30 and a half. Does that seem accurate on camera? Yep. So there's 30, there's 31, and this line right here is 30 and a half. We're at 30 and a half on this side. Let's check the other side. Yeah, I just sitting sideways. That's why I do both sides. And I'd call this one 32, 32 and 5 eighths. Does that look accurate on camera? Yep. All right, it's 1,000 pounds of concrete, 35 PSI. Let's see what it looks like without all that weight. So that would have been the Spec C Ironman concrete test where I put 1,000 pounds in the back and tested how much sag there is. Please see my previous video for full explanation and methods and why and logic uh, or my original post on the Outback forum. Next up we're going to do the travel test for the Spec C Ironman on my travel ramp. Stop. Just a little bit forward. Stop. There we go. Yeah, so That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. We're going to call that three and three quarter. Three and a half. Sounds good to me. Stop. You want to call that one five? So. Yeah, I think last time the wheel was off just a little bit, and this okay. time it backed back down. So I'd say this is probably the more. I'll take the average. That's yeah, what I'm doing. yeah. More than one, and then it'll show like how much the noise is. So, all right. So that's just five even. This concludes the. Oh, hold on. This concludes the Ironman Spec C travel test. All right. And one more, I had somebody ask uh, the difference for travel on the ramp. I have not tested it because none of these tests have been with end links because I don't have any. But I will test with the Forester Wilderness now because I, I can. And uh, I was curious. I've done a video on this previously, this topic. And I didn't take full measurements, but uh, it's nice to see it compared to this ramp. Okay, so this is 
Subaru Forester Wilderness uh, travel test. The front sway bar has been disconnected. Let's see how it does. Till the back tire lifts up. There you go. That's maybe a little bit too high. Yeah, right there. Look how strong I am. Okay, it actually did a lot better. You want to call that eight and a half? Nice round number. Yeah. Is it showing on camera? I uh, zoomed in, but yeah. So this is with the sway bar. Go. That's good. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that's a that's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> when we tested it before, we never took the sway bars off. Uh huh. Or the end links, I guess. Okay. There you go. It's all over the top. Where you have this. Yeah, and that was just the front. I mean, 21, 21 and a quarter. Yeah. Something like that. We'll call it a nice 21, make it be the number. Okay. I mean, I'm not doing eighths That's and sixteenths. 13 of this. inches difference, yeah. foot difference. I put more travel. Yeah. Or I guess uh, angled travel it won't be. Yeah. Total, but that's pretty impressive. Yeah. For a little, little stock Subaru, I guess with the end links taken off. All right, we've got the road test coming, the speed bump test, and then the on-road, off-road, highway, twisty driving section. I might make that one unlisted. I know that that's a very long video, and I know some people don't care for it and don't like to look at me. But uh, hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching.